How to add a new girl to Salesforce using paper registrations. Before you add any person to Salesforce, it's important to search and make sure that the parent is not already in the system. She may have an older girl scout and we don't want to have a duplicate record. So go to the search button up at the top and type in the parent's name. As you can see, there is no parent named Sue per volunteer. So you can go ahead and add this girl to the system. However, if her name did pop up, stop this video and at, go on to adding a member to a household. As there is no parent in Salesforce already, you're clear to register this new member. Click on register a new member and that takes you to the registration page. You're going to complete all the information you have. You select that it's a $15 membership for a girl for this year and now we're going to add the, the girl. You must have the girl's actual date of birth. Okay. Count one year for this year. And we're going to put her in kindergarten. And not found. Be sure to put this, put school not found, yes. Custodial care put parent unless you have both parents information even if they are shared by if you only have one person's information select parent ethnicity I choose not to share when you're selecting race click on on the left hand side click on what the individual is so click highlight over here and then click on the arrow, sending it to the selected field. If you make a mistake, you can highlight on the right-hand side and move it back by clicking on the bottom arrow. And there you go. All right, uh, this will pre-populate, same as girl address. And let's put the person's uh, parent's name in. Um, email address. If you don't have an email, make sure you put noemail.com, but you must have something there. Um, and we will email, uh, we will not text or email this as this is a, uh, a, a test drive. When you're putting in the troop number, make sure you list it this way. T-R-O-O-P with a capital P, a space, and then five digits. And that's our troop number we're using. Yep. Proceed to the bottom. So down here, you can enter how, however this person paid. All right. You can enter their credit card information, financial aid, cash or credit is how we're paying. And you can enter the receipt number. and apply payment. After payment's been processed, you'll, you'll uh, be directed to this page. From here, you can add another member. You can add another member, that uh, sister or dad, to the household, or add another member to the troop. You can also go to that record and make sure that the person is in okay.